Ah, uh, welcome everyone to Planet of NY Sports. Here we talk Yankees, Mets, Giants, Jets, and a little bit of the Knicks and Nets. So, speaking of the Knicks and Nets, both teams are in the NBA playoffs right now. And real quick here, we are going to give our predictions for the first round of the NBA playoffs. Currently, the Knicks are playing against the Cleveland Cavaliers, by the way, and the Knicks are leading 87 to 79. Just a quick update right there. So speaking of that series, how about we kick off with that? We talk Knicks and Nets here. So let's start it off with that. Um, Roderick, let's go with you first. How many games do you see this series going, and who do you think wins? It's going to go six games. It's going to be... 97, 90, 95. Donovan Mitchell with 10 seconds left comes down the court on the right side, looks at Spike Lee, wants up a game winning three. Cavs win in six. Um, you know, I'm a bit of an extremist when it comes to the Knicks, so we go with the extreme uh, possibility here. Uh, but I'll go Cavs in six. Cavs in six. Okay. Yeah. I basically said the same thing, but just to kind of give a different perspective here, I'm going to go ahead and say, Cavs in seven. I'm going to say Cavs in seven. I think I think the Cavs are going to – well, mm, no. Here, I'm going to rephrase this. One, I would not be surprised if the Knicks do win this series. I'm just going to get that out of the way. I wouldn't be surprised if they do because this is a series I think the Knicks can win. And if they keep playing like they are playing today, like in terms of defense against the Cavs, I think they can win this series. Just I'm going to put that out there. But they have the best player – on the floor in this series, and that's Donovan Mitchell. And usually that pl that player, that best player on the floor, is going to factor into the playoffs. And that's going to be like, okay, last second shot, who's going to get, you know, the big moment. And then you, a good supporting cast of Darius Garland. You know, you got Evan Mobley on the come up. You got Jared Allen. So, I mean, hey, I would not be surprised if the Knicks win. I wouldn't be surprised. But I think the amount of star power the Cavs have and young players, I think they'll win. But, hey, if the, the, if the, the Knicks are playing well right now and if they win again on Tuesday, which is incredibly stupid the way they schedule these NBA playoff games, I'm just going to put that out there. It's dumb. They should be playing on Monday. But, but whatever, fine. If if they if the Cavs do go down 2-0, the game's not over yet because now it's 89-81. I'm just saying if it's 2-0, then maybe the Cavs might be in some trouble because if you don't want to go down 2-0, um, you know, in MSG, you, you, you really don't unless, you know, you have Trey Young on your team. And maybe someone will step up like that, a.k.a. Donovan Ooh. Mitchell. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh, 84, 89, 84. Speaking of Donovan Mitchell. Speaking of Donovan Mitchell, he just hits a three. All right, let's just uh, – I'm, I'm going to let give Nick fans a break here. We're going to stick to the coin, and we, you really don't know who can win this series. It can go exactly. either way. But going on to a pretty predictable series, Philadelphia yeah. – Versus Brooklyn. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I. I. I like. I like. Look, I, I'd like to. I. Okay. Six are gonna win this series. All right. Look. You know. We'll start with that. But I could certainly see the Nets putting up a fight and taking it to seven. Like. Like they. They. They just have that. Um. Underdog kind of. Uh. What's the word I'm looking for? Like just tough it out for three games and somehow puts the seven. I mean, I still think that the Sixers are going to win, but, you know, I, I like the Nets to at least make it um, a challenge, so, so to speak. So you have Philly in seven? Yes. Wow. Six or seven. It's it's not going to be five games. Like, they're not going to sweep. It's not going to be five games. This, the Sixers have never really been, like, that team that can just shut somebody out type thing. Like, I, the Nets are going to get at least two games in my mind. Okay. Well, as a Nets fan, oh. I they're already down one. They're already down one game. Um, I'd be surprised if you win again in Philadelphia again. I'd be very shocked. 
because they, they play they play again Monday, by the way. See, okay, that's a little more reasonable with the scheduling. Why can't the Knicks and Cavs do that when you're still in Cleveland? I don't know, but I digress. Anyways, maybe maybe something with the time zones, but it's still probably still with garbage. T- probably with TV stuff on the weekdays and how like you know afternoon because you can do it on the weekends. Blah blah blah. All right, fine. I don't, but quite frankly, I don't care. Play it at the same time, but they're but they're not going to do that. Um, it's dumb, no matter how you slice it. it. Exactly. Now, anyways, when I look at this series, and when I'm looking at this. From a non-biased point of view, you have the guy that's most likely going to be MVP, Joel Embiid. Yeah, James Harden. Like you got, you got him. You got James Harden. Why? You know, I, I love think, that guy in Brooklyn. Yeah, him, Katie, Kyrie. I love all of them. I think this series. Mm-hmm. Is going to be one in five games by the Philadelphia Sixers, and I know, oh, on, I, I know, I, I just don't think the Nets have enough. No, because this is how it's going to go. This is how it's going to go. The Nets are probably going to win. Let's say they win, maybe in Philadelphia. Okay, you give them that game; it wouldn't shock me. And then maybe they lose. They lose. They lose, they get blown out game three, but then game four, it gets close. It's getting really close. They put up a fight, and then they're going to lose. And then I think they go back to Philly, and I think Joel Embiid, I think they get closed out. I just, you know, Mikael Bridges, it, oh, my gosh. Uh, Nick fans. RJ Barrett. Nick fans. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right, I, I'm not even. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna. Not, I'm, not, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop reacting. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stop I, reacting. I, I think that it's only a three point game, but you know, I think the Knicks will be okay. I think the Knicks will be okay. Maybe that won't age well by the time this is posted, but I think the Knicks will be okay. Anyways, going back on to the Nets, I think they lose in five games. Mikel Bridges. I don't know if that's quite enough for um the Brooklyn Nets. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cleveland is. It is now a one point game. It's well, it's a one point game, folks. It's a one point game. Just so you know, we started this video. They're up by ten. Yeah, with six minutes to go. Okay. Anyways, back to the Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, back to the Brooklyn Nets. Whoop de do. Yeah, I think Brooklyn loses yeah. five. Not much to say there. Now moving on to the other series that I think may be a sweep, given off of today's performance. Oh, my gosh. Cleveland is in the lead, folks. Okay. Okay, then. All righty, then. All righty, then. That's not good for the New York Knicks. But there's still time. There's still time left. So I'm not going to overreact yet. There's still time. But anyways, moving on, Roderick, real quick, give me your thoughts on Boston and Atlanta. All right. Let's... Let, let's 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 keep it a, a buck here, all right? Let's not spend too much time on this series. Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, uh, John, get it, go. Um, collect your playoff revenue at home. Uh, get your money and just let, let's 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 go play golf, all right? Let, let's pack it up, all right? You're not you, – you're done, all right? Currently, everyone, if you're wondering why, why I'm laughing, I'm laughing at my dad screaming right now <laughs> because, as you all know, he's a big Nick fan. And, <laughs> oh, my gosh. But I, I'm not going to start laughing yet because I'm going to post this video and they'll probably win the game. So, but anyways, I'm going to say – I'm going to take Celtics in five. I think the Celtics – I think they may drop one game. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe in Atlanta they'll, you know, have like an off game. You know, catch Atlanta will catch Boston slipping, but I think I wouldn't be shocked if it's a sweep either. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be shocked. I think there will be at least one sweep in this first round for the East. I think there'll be at least one. Uh, you know, it wouldn't shock me if the Nets got swept. It really wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me, and it wouldn't surprise me if the uh, the Hawks got swept. Can they put up yeah, a fight? There's only really one series where it's like. It's going to be a tight contested series all the way through. So. Yeah, and that's the series that's play, being played right now, which is the Cavs. Yeah. So that's going to probably be the tight series. Now, moving on to Milwaukee and the Heat. 
I think we all I think we're all picking Milwaukee on this one, but can the Heat maybe get a like a game or two? I th- I think so. Maybe. I think I think they'll get at least Dang. one. I think Roger, who are you how many games do you think this series is gonna go? It can go five or six. It's not gonna go past six. I think six also is certainly a stretch. Um yeah, this this should be a quick series. Donovan Mitchell pulls up for three off. And misses. There we go. Yep. Next start by two now as Josh Hart went. Gudius Maximus first to the floor there. See, that's um, what I'm saying. The Knicks will be okay. The Knicks are the Knicks are in the driver's seat. The yeah. Knicks may win let, this. Let, let, let's clip that. <laughs> the Knicks may win this game. And we won't they have to. But they're the Knickerbockers. They're the Knickerbockers, all right? Wait, I, I'm saying Knickerbockers, all right? I'm okay. 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 <laughs> all, right, all right, pal. All right, pal. But anyways, going back on to <laughs> Miami and – Bucks, I'm going to say, give me the Bucks in five. Give me the Bucks in five. I like that. I like give that. The Bucks in five. I think, I think the Heat, they're so unpredictable. So I think, like, sometimes, you know, they show up and actually remember how to shoot and stuff, given mm-hmm. that their three point percentage has gone down from last year, which is, you know, a main reason why they've slipped. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with. Milwaukee in five. Now let's move on to the Western Conference. Um, let's go to the series that nobody cares about: the Nuggets versus the Timberwolves. I have All Nuggets right. in four. Roger, how about you? As a Minnesota sports fan, I know a little bit about the Timberwolves, but I think they can get it to five, maybe six. But it's still going to be the Nuggets. The Nuggets are just going to overpower them. Moving on. Um, okay. Let's go. What do you want to do next? You want to do Kings Warriors or Westbrook versus KD? Or, or let's go, go next. Let's go. No, 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 no. In fact, no. Let's go Lakers Grizzlies. Oh, I forgot. Let's yes. go Lakers Grizzlies. We got we got Gaga John Morant versus <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> and we got LeBron James and John Morant. The biggest matchup in NBA history uh, taking place. I I say this series goes to six or seven, and I think I take the Grizzlies. Um, mainly because of playoff experience. Like, it's not not saying LeBron doesn't have playoff experience, but like the Grizzlies, it's not like they're like this young team who's just got here. You know, as the Knicks go up by four with thirty five seconds to go. Like the Grizzlies, they they have enough talent to beat the Lakers. They have enough experience to beat the Lakers. So. I think I got Grizzlies in six or seven. Okay, um, I'm gonna t- yeah, I'm gonna say the same thing. I think the Grizzlies. I'm gonna say the Grizzlies win in seven, though. I think I think this will be a highly entertaining series. We already know the history between these two teams. Oh, Them, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, and and Shannon Sharp. Oh, he's gonna be all over this. Oh, you know, we all know he's a big, big Braun sexual. He's a big Braun fan. <laughs> so this is gonna be very, very interesting to see. And would it shock me if the Lakers won the series? No, I wouldn't be surprised if the Lakers won the series. I think this is the series that the Lakers can, in fact, win. Now, do I think that they will win in the second round if they get there? Hell no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. not. Yeah, no, th- that's not happening. But I think they can win this series because when you look at the Grizzlies, they are missing Steven Adams, and I think that loss is probably going to hurt them quite a bit. Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman, yes. Aquaman. Um, uh, as you, My dad is celebrating as – okay, uh, whatever. Um, anyways, anyways, give me the Grizzlies in seven, but it would not su- surprise me if the Lakers do win. Now, let's move on. To Warriors Kings, Roderick, who do you have for this series? I got I got to take my bias here. Um, hate the Warriors, always have, always will. So I'm gonna take the Kings here, like the Beam. Um, okay. Obviously, this series to go either way, but I, I, I want the Kings to win. I like the Kings to win. Two point game in Cleveland. Thirty-one point yep. six yeah. seconds to go. Damn, it's getting close. Oh my gosh! I don't think the Knicks are gonna win though. I this got is gonna be tight. I got the Knicks winning this game. Josh Hart hands off to Brunson. Under 30 to go. Oh, my gosh. Russell, what do you think happens here? 
in this game right now. I think, yeah. let's see, I think they give it to Brunson or Randall. I think one of them hits a shot or gets fouled, and this game may be over. Brunson in the ISO, fade away, off. Randall with a rebound, gets it to somebody who I don't know. They have to foul here, and they're going to foul with about four seconds left. So what Cleveland needs now is for the Knicks to miss a free throw or – Somehow get a four point play if they make both free throws. So they have no timeouts. Uh, I think the Knicks. Oh, Grimes, hold on. Grimes got fouled. See, I told yeah. you. I, 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 that I, I, is. Close. Brunson took a shot. I thought it would be yeah. one of those guys. Okay. Yeah. And Grimes is a pretty good free throw shooter. So he should make both. And this game would like. Do, do you open. think about missing the second one? No, right? No. You cannot miss the second one. Well, he just barely made that first one, and almost, almost. And he makes this, and he's he's made the second one. He made the second. Spike one. Lee watches on intensely. What a guy! I feel so bad for that dude. The rebounding for the Cavs has been bad this game, which is one of the main reasons why I think they lost this game. But. Free throw is good. It's a four point game. Four point three seconds to go. As long as they don't foul a man, he hits a three point shot. They. The Knicks will win. Donovan Mitchell can up the court. The three is no good. Knicks win game one. The Knicks win. One on one ninety seven. The Knicks have won game one. Let's give it up to the Knicks. Okay. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Um, but let's continue our video here. Uh, real quick, I'm going to go ahead. The Kings are a fun team. The Warriors have a lot of experience. I have been very conflicted on this series. Because Where have I heard that before? Uh, uh, experienced team with the young and up-and-coming up team. Where have I heard that before? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't, okay. I can't quite put my finger on okay, it. Hey, Roderick, we all know what you're trying to reference here. But anyways, um, this is like the one team has won a lot of championships. The other hasn't made the, the other hasn't made the playoffs in a my lifetime. Very long time. And I'm gonna ha go ahead and just say if the Kings do win this series, I think it will have to be in seven games. I'm gonna get that started. The Warriors, we do know, have been bad on the road this year, but it's the playoffs. But then again, you could say, oh, Sacramento. We're probably going to see it game one. This is those fans are going to be loud. To be honest, I didn't know Sacramento had about 500 people in it, but <laughs> here we are. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take. Mm, um, uh oh. I don't know what just happened to Roderick there, but I'm going to take. The Golden State Warriors in six games. But I would not be surprised if the Sacramento Kings do win the series. Now, moving on to the last game, I don't know where Roderick is. His phone just kind of gave out. Um, so real quick here, I'm going to go ahead and say Phoenix Clippers. Phoenix Clippers. Obviously, as a Net fan, I don't want to see KD go ahead and win. I don't want to see that. But the Clippers, they're going to be without Paul George, is looking like for this first round. Um, I don't, I don't really know um, about the Clippers' chances here. I really don't. Um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say, give me the Suns. Give me the Suns in six games. I think the Suns win. Sadly, I am very, very tired of hearing about KD, Kyrie, and James Harden. But I think those two players, given you know KD and Harden, I think they will both advance in their respective series. I don't. I don't see why um, the Clippers would really win this series. I, I. I don't see there being a possibility without Paul George. I don't see how they're going to win the series unless. Phoenix doesn't stay healthy, which has which could be an issue. That could very well be an issue. I don't think that's going to happen, though. I think they'll be able to beat the Los Angeles Clippers. So, 
With that being said, I don't know what happened to Roderick. It's okay. We're going to move past it. The Knicks have won. Coming up soon is going to be Golden State versus Sacramento. Oh, Roderick is back. Roderick, uh, what happened there? Anyways. anyways. <sighs> what happened, Roderick? I got my parents called me. So. Oh, okay. Um, so, basically, I did the um, – the Suns versus Clippers. So can I just get your thoughts on that before we close it out? I just want to see chaos, honestly. You know, I want to see Russell Westbrook drop 50 on KD's head. I mean, what else, what else is there to say? I mean, I think the Suns win this series pretty convincingly, but I just want to see, like, that one game, Russell Westbrook gets the rock a baby in, in front of KD or something like that, and I'll be, I'll be happy. Uh, Suns in five. Suns and five. Okay, I said Suns and six, maybe, but like I, I think I think the Clippers will get a game, but I don't see how they're going to have any chance of winning this series without Paul George. I just don't see how that's a possibility, unless Pandemic P. unless the Suns, you know, stay out. So with that being said, me and Roderick seem to be in agreement for most of them. You know, we got we got the Cavs winning, even though after this game. If they lose, if they lose again in Cleveland, I may have to change that prediction and go Knicks and Knicks and six, maybe. But we'll see. We'll see. We also have we both have the 76ers with the, the MVP, Joel Embiid, James Harden. We have them. We have the Bucks. We have the Celtics going on to the West. We have the Suns. We have the Grizzlies. The conflicting one, Roderick, I just went with the Warriors in six. But I said if Sacramento wins, I think it'll be in seven. But what do I know? We, you, you never know. And then for the last Western Conference series, you 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 all you all already heard it. Nug, nuggets easily. I don't see this series having any juice. Nobody's going to be really talking about it. Nuggets are going to maul over the Timberwolves. Now, if you can all do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Good job, Knicks. I'm not saying good job to any Boston team. Nets, win a game, please. Please win a game, at, at least. Let's make this competitive. Ben right. Simmons game winning three. Ben, all right, let's go. Ben let's Simmons go. needs to go to the Shanghai Sharks. All right, everybody.